Hi friends, it's Miss B out here in the garden. I am standing out here in the middle of our fava bean forest, we call it. These are all the favas that you guys planted when you were here at school. And they've grown very, very tall. And we're about ready to take them out. In just a little bit here, we'll take some out to plant our tomatoes and our cucumbers and all of our tasty vegetables so that when you guys come back to school, in the fall we can taste those however i wanted to show you look at the fava beans these fava beans are big these ones wouldn't taste very good if we picked them right off of the plant and ate them however they can be cooked peeled and cooked and eaten some of the little ones if we were here together we would be tasting them some of the little ones do taste good when you take them right off the plant but these big ones are too far. What I wanted to show you out here is that we have some pests in our garden. We have a lot of these little guys called aphids. Do you remember those aphids? There's lots of tea. Oh, and a bug up there. Hello, he's saying hello. These aphids are not helpful in our garden. They're harmful. However, on our fava beans here, we actually like to see the aphids. We like to see the aphids because what it means is that there is food for our friends, the ladybugs. Now, if you look here, we have lots of ladybugs. And this is the perfect habitat for ladybugs because ladybugs eat aphids. Alright, so they're here and there's tons of them and they are eating lots and lots of aphids. And after they get their fill of aphids, they start laying eggs. Now if you look right here, look at those little tiny ladybug eggs. And you can look for these at home too. If you Anywhere you see aphids and you see ladybugs, if you look under the leaves, up there. You see those little tiny yellow dots and those are ladybug eggs. And it takes some time. You have to sit and you have to look and you have to be quiet and still in the garden. But the more you look, the more you will find. Let's see, I just saw some in there. Look at those. Those are ladybug eggs. And when the ladybug eggs hatch, the ladybugs will come out looking a little bit different than you would imagine a ladybug to look. Let me see, I just had one right here. Look at this. This is a ladybug larva. Oh, there we go. You see him there? He kind of looks like a little alligator type creature, some kids have said. That is a ladybug larva. He is also gonna eat lots and lots of aphids. Now the only stage of this life that I haven't seen out here is called a pupa. Oh my goodness, look at all these little larvae. The only stage I haven't seen is a pupa, and that is a lot like what a um, lady, what a butterfly does when he makes a chrysalis, a ladybug makes a pupa and it sticks to the leaf of one of these favas. And he spends some time inside of that hard case before he emerges as a ladybug. So you can see all stages of his life out here. You see him? Eggs and pupas and a not pupas, eggs and larvae and adults. Busy, busy, busy in our garden. Now you can look for these at your house, in your backyard. Maybe if you have some plants growing on their own out in the street, if you go for a walk. Look for all of these ladybugs. They are so fun to explore in their wild habitats. I hope you guys are doing good. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.